and uh, welcome to Town Talk. I'm your host, Rose Highland Sharp. This very inspirational program is brought to you by Highland Communications for storytelling, music, and entertainment. Call 910-528-0718. Today we'll see highlights of the Taylor Town Day 2017 dinner, dance, entertainment, and parade. You'll see somebody you know. You'll see marching bands, beauty queens, Towns folks, the town council, mayor, families, church folk, people from other communities outside of Taylor Town and from Southern Pines, Aberdeen, and outside of Moore County. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a treat as always. Stay tuned and enjoy. blessed in the midst of the storms, the tornadoes, and hurricanes, and our neighbors down in the great state of Texas and Louisiana, here we are in Moore County. And many of us, of course, from Taylortown. Let's give a shout out for Taylortown, because we're still here. We are here, as Pastor would say, on this side of the dirt. And for those of you all from Southern Pines, Aberdeen, Jackson Hamlet, and all the other places here and there, where's that? There's a lady, there's a preacher lady one time, Mrs. Walter, she said, Ooh, Sister Shop, don't come down here to Cartheridge. <laughs> Not to uh, it's Cartheridge, but to God be the glory. We're going to move the program along, and we're just so thankful for everybody to see you all here today. My brother, my sister, daughters, sons, moms, and dads. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the 2017 Taylor Town Day Friday Night Banquet. Oh, we got some goodies in store for you tonight. I have asked a young man who's a longtime resident of Taylortown, North Carolina, and a member over at The Rock, St. Peter, Amen, United Church of God, Mr. James McCrimmon, to lead us in prayer. Amen, amen. His anger is but for a moment. But his peace live forever. My Father and our God is once more and again as we come. First of all, we say thank you, thank you for your goodness, your kindness, for your grace, and for your mercy. Father God, we ask you if thou would just bless us in a special way, bless us as individuals, and bless us, oh God, collectively. Father God, we ask you just to go with us, stand by, bless, protect, and keep, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bless this congregation, this gathering, oh God. Father God, we ask you just to do it, but we know that you can and we believe that you will. Mm. We put our trust in you, O oh God. We are effort to help us, O oh God. Bless us and take us through on this night, even through the storm, O oh God. We ask you to bless in a special way, protect and keep the people yes. uh, throughout the land, O oh God. You're able to do all things. All power mm. is in your hand. And help us to realize, O oh God, that this world is not our home. Mm. We're just pilgrims and sojourners. That's why you said in your word, for here we have no continuing city but we seek one to come. Mm. Father God, we ask you just to go with us now, Lord, stand by, bless, protect, and keep us, oh God, if it be your holy will. It's our prayer for Christ's sakes, amen. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Thank God for prayer. Thank you, Brother McCrimmon. We appreciate that so much on the spot. Amen. We should always be ready to pray. We know that some others may be on the way because of there was a, the storm warning or watch and whatnot. Uh, tornado, but that should have already passed by by now. And we're changing the order of the program just a little bit. So we're going to do the history of Taylor Town uh, a little bit later, right before the presentations and recognition and door prizes. But right now we're going to look for a young lady who's here, and I don't know her real name, but uh, she does stuff like Miss Rose does. She does comedy skits, and they call her Mama Dot. Give her some love, Mama Dot. Come on now. Oh, here she go, here she go, here she go. Hello. Woo! Uh oh, you're looking at me funny, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Let me check y'all out. Let me check you out. Put one hand up. Come on, don't get scared. I ain't taking the ball. Put up two. Uh -huh. 
Uh oh. What y'all doing on that? What about you? Uh oh. Diamond in the back, sunroom top, digging in the scene with an extra leaf. Back on that one. Yeah. 
Amen. Give us some love once again, everybody. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cal, to God be the glory. Y'all feel the change? Come on, yeah, come on now. Really? Hallelujah. Boy, that's a good place right there as we prepare to bless the food. I don't know, God, I feel like a message. You know, after you hear that, oh my God, I'm not going to pass it. Tell the town, are you still with us? Yeah. All right. Who's here from Southern Pines, North Carolina? Give a holler. Hey. All right. Southern Pines in the house. Aberdeen, Jackson Hamlet, originally. Yes. Amen. Eastwood, a Monroe town, originally. Come on now. Let them know you're here. Amen. To God be the glory. And not. Unless we forget Carthage, Sister Walden, and all the other places. Let us go to the Lord in prayer as we prepare to bless the food. Amen. Let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this opportunity to come before you and say thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for us being alive today and saved and alive and being here ready to partake in this food. Lord, bless the preparers of the food the organizers of this wonderful program tonight, the town council, the mayor, all the families, the town clerk, our clerk for the water department, Father God, our ministers, the teachers, everybody, the youth, Father God, our elderly, the senior citizens, and those of us who are now senior citizens, Lord, and the young ones yet coming along. God, we thank you for another 2017 Taylor Time. You didn't have to do it, but you did. So, Lord, we thank you, God, that the food is a blessing to us for the nourishment of our bodies, that we have the energy to be able to carry on and do what we need to do this night. We know tomorrow's not promised, so Lord, we thank you for this meal, and we give you praise for Christ's sake, in Jesus' name. Amen? amen. And amen. Enjoy your dinner. Amen. We're going to be led by the, uh, George. <laughs> You're going to give us instructions. Yeah. Amen. Thank you for those directions. Okay, George, we're going to take you leave. Can I have your attention, please? Uh, we're going to continue with the program that we had to change. We apologize for that, but we had to make changes for the program. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to have poetry by Miss Latoya Lambert, and after that we'll have the history read by Mrs. Uh, Sister Rose Howard Sharp. Amen. Amen. Woo! Good evening, everyone. I'm not going to be before you long. I'm just going to adjust this microphone real quick. Um, it's so wonderful to see everybody on this evening. Is everybody having a good time? Yes. I'm not going to stand before you long, so I'm just going to be in your way and out of your way. I am not here to preach. <laughs> I am just here to read this poem that I wrote. Um, I was born and raised in Taylortown. Um, first, let me honor God first, because without him, we wouldn't be here. Taylortown wouldn't be established, and without him, we are nothing. So I do honor him first. I want to honor and salute our elders that are in the building because they are our history, they hand down our wisdom, they are the backbones of our communities, so I honor and salute every elder in the room. Not meaning deacon elder, not meaning church elder, I mean the seasoned citizens of Taylortown. I honor you all on this evening. Also honor our mayor and his first lady, Mayor Barrett, and Lady Diane Barrett, and I do honor you all as well. Thank you all for coming out. Again, I was born and raised in Taylortown, and I'm not as older as some of you all, so your Taylortown experience was not like mine. So, you know, some of y'all can probably relate to this poem. Some of you might have your own memories about Taylortown, but I can only write my truth and what I remember about Taylortown. So, you know, I'm going to get into this. Y'all pray for me because I don't know what this thing is going to sound like. <clears throat> they say a 
takes a village to raise a child? Well, my village consisted of Main Walker and Wall Street. The hill was the place to chill, and across the creek, well, it kept a different kind of beat. You know, once you got over the bridge, where I lived, born and raised in Taylor Town, for short, T-Town. And I can remember looking down at my hands as they clutched a grease-spotted brown paper bag that had buried treasures on the inside that only mere pennies could buy, and I don't know why. It felt like forever to get from that hill store to my grandmother's house, from that hill store to my best friend's front yard, from that hill store to the park, from that hill store just about anywhere. I guess my strides weren't really long enough. You see, I remember meeting my very best friend whose house was nestled deep in the woods. She stood flat-footed and enunciated my name so elegantly. With her bright brown eyes and plaited braids, she came on my porch and said, can Tori come out and play? And from that day to this one, she is still my homegirl. I remember the pops and bangs and whistles and whirls as the night sky filled with smoke, as the aroma of gunpowder filled my nostrils. Man, those 4th of July celebrations on Wall Street with them scales, boys, they were the best. Yes, I remember. And I am so grateful to be able to stand in front of all of you. I am ever so thankful to take part in such a wonderful celebration. I am humbled because it, it reminds me of how far we have come through blood, sweat, and tears, smeared faces of our ancestors who worked from sunup to sundown just so we could freely trace the lines of history in the palms of our hands. And we have the audacity to say that we can't stand one another and that we can't come face to face. When it was face to face they came, bodies pressed in dark, defiled jail, Jane, bodies pressed in dark, defiled jail cells, whipped and chained, ties that bind our forefathers together and made them strong. So someone please tell me, why can't we all get along, get beyond the name calling, the finger pointing the crabs in a bucket syndrome. Please, let's show these people that we be solid, that determination, purpose, and destiny make up our chromosomes, and together we can weather each and every storm because these long, dusty roads and these deep yeah. roots have intertwined us as one. We are established historically. Don't you understand? We are the restored legacy that our ancestors dreamt about. Yes. And I am reminded of how far we must go. But one thing I do know, with God on our side, we are absolutely unstoppable. And anything, I mean anything is possible, like Philippians 4 and 13, we can do all things through Christ, who gives us strength from day to day. Love, peace, and faith, coupled with unity and God's grace, will help us to continue to run this race swiftly, renewing our minds with a new revelation, handing down the baton to a new generation, uniting us together as one a people, a culture, and a nation, living in every moment. Whether it be good, bad, right, wrong, or indifferent, we must celebrate every experience because it has shaped us into who we are. Right. We are family. And we must love beyond words. And forever our voices shall be heard. You see, I remember racing down my grandmother's road. It was dusty. It was long with my cousins and my friends, and I was always in last place. I guess my strides really weren't long enough. But today, I realized that maybe, just maybe my strides were just enough that my T-Town pride was strong and still is strong enough for me to stand through the years proud and boldly. I will represent where I'm from. I declare I am. T-Town Strong. Yeah. God bless you all. Whence we came. That's right. And uh, with that said, 
moving the program along, tale of town history. And some of you all have heard this history. It may have been revised a little bit. And for your hearing this evening, and for us to remember and to pass down to our young people as well. In the early 1900s, Tellertown was originally a settlement of land that Nicodemus Demas Teller purchased from the Tufts family. The Tufts are known for the development of Pinehurst. Demas Teller was born a slave in the 1820s. He was a descendant of the Ibu tribe of Western Africa and the grandson of one of the first slaves brought to America. When Demas was freed, he was known for working together turpentine from longleaf pines with his axe and cutting hundreds of trees all by himself in one day, where he also reported to have been the first caddy in America by an article in the Charlotte Observer dated in 1934. The article also stated he died at the age of 113, although a death certificate states he died at the age of 108. Still a lot of years. The settlement of land Demas purchased became a place for blacks to stay while working in Pinehurst hotels, homes, and golf courses. It became a place to purchase land, build homes, work, and raise families. The settlement was later named Taylortown in honor of Demas and his son Robert. Both father and son continued to shape Taylortown. Robert helped start a school named Academy Heights for the children. In 1931, it burned down and was rebuilt in 1934. Academy Heights taught many children from first to 12th grades. The school became integrated in 1969. It was named Pinehurst Elementary School. In 1996, the school was renamed to Academy Heights yeah. mm -hmm. and became a year-round school for Moore County Schools until it closed in June of 2000. 11. A lot of us remember all of that. It is now owned by the town of Taylortown. Woohoo! Uh -huh. Amen. In 1987, Taylortown was incorporated with the efforts of the first mayor, Miss Geneva McCray, and the Taylortown Ministerial Alliance and other community members. Miss McCray was a former uh, student of Academy Heights and returned to Taylortown after serving in World War II and working as a teacher in New York for many years. The Taylor Towns Ministerial Alliance was formed in 1986 and still continues to have monthly meetings. Our current mayor, Mayor Ulysses S.G. Barrett, wow. Jr. Wow, hey, yes, 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 applause, applause. Was elected in 1991 and during his many years in office along with many other councilmen and councilwomen, growth continued in Taylor Town and continues today. Present day Tellertown has a few businesses on Main Street, or the hill as we affectionately refer to Main Street. So what? Yes, Hope City makes it all right. There's a so what proprietor, Hope Barrett. Not just any bag. Tanya Morrison, of course. Main Salon, uh, Mary Gordon, and Tellertown Cuts. Who's the individual running the Tellertown Cuts? Young man. Amen. But nevertheless, the businesses continue to go on. Also, of course, there is the Armstead Village, which has a home with sweets, Lowe's Foods, a gas station, banks, many restaurants, and other specialty stores. And in 2016, Pinecroft was added with a Harris Cheetah with a gas station. Rite Aid, of course, a few specialty shops, and a McDonald's that displays a mural of some of Taylor Town's history on a wall in the restaurant. And of course, we know that McDonald's is African American owned. The first Taylor Town Community Day was in September of 1981. Although it had rained, they had a parade and a program at Academy Heights Auditorium with various contests and food. The event was started by members of the community and the Johnny Bola Foundation. The foundation was named after Mr. Johnny Bola. And of course, he taught many of Taylor Town's young children how to play baseball. He was a great coordinator, a lover of children, and got everybody together with those games. The Bola Park, or the Johnny Bola Municipal Park, of course, is named in his honor. Taylor Town Community Day continued for a few more years and then fell by the wayside. 
But in the last few years, the tradition of Taylortown Day was restarted by the Taylortown Town Council, as well as support from the churches of Taylortown and other local churches and the community. There is no way to tell all of Taylortown's rich, rich history. The legacy of Demas and Robert Taylor is reflected by the present day residents through their strong sense of community and pride in the town's heritage. We want to thank all the families in the community of Taylortown for being a part of its history every day. We thank God for all he has done and he continues to do for us and through us. To him we give all praises, honor, and glory. And somebody said hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen and God bless. Tell the town strong in 2017. Be blessed. Amen. Thank you for that history. One of our town councilmen, uh, town councilman Marvin Taylor, would like to acknowledge some folks, make some special presentations, and then we're going to have some door prizes. Amen. Good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a good time. But I wanted to acknowledge uh, all the elderly of Taylortown. A lot of them didn't come tonight because the rain had started pouring down, and I know my grandma, she's like, I'm not coming, so. But uh, I wanna have Miss Thompson to come up, uh, Miss Maybell Cotton, and uh, I was looking for Miss Melba Bostic, but she didn't, I guess the rain probably kept her at, at, at the house too, so. But she's one of the oldest members of Taylor Town. She, I think she's 98, 99, She's 99. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Okay, you can come up in the set for Miss uh, Miss Boston. Amen. Like Tori iterated, you know, without the, the older people being that solid rock of the community, uh, it really it really stands out a lot because they've done a lot, and now they you know they up in the age now they looking for those younger folks to try to take it on further. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now we have the town councilman, the mayor. Coming up. Yeah, we have one more, Jeff, uh, but he, he couldn't make it tonight. He's into the track and stuff like that, so. Right there, James Adamore Thompson, Mitchell Radcliffe. And we have Mitchell Radcliffe, Thompson, and Barrett. But this is just a small token from us, the town council and Taylor Town. We want to honor you with these flowers. We got some other gifts too, some, some smell good stuff. Miss Young, you here? Can you come up and sit for my grandma? Amen. Woo! I think uh, Miss Thompson, you 92, 91? She won't feel my age. Oh, she won't feel my age. I know. No. <laughs> Oh, I missed it. Uh huh. <laughs> I leave it off. Y'all hear my grandma's 92. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can get you on the next time you tell us that, okay? <laughs> okay. Miss Marlene, could you come on up to me, please? I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Marlene. Applause. Marlene Pittman came up on the end there. Do you count like to say anything? Yeah. No? Nobody? Yeah. Well, we thank y'all for all your dedication and hard work. I think Ms. Tom, you used to be a school teacher, right? You used to teach school? At the Academy High? Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, so acknowledge. 
much, Mr. Jesse Cooler is uh, sitting. We want to thank everybody, and we want to thank these elderly citizens right. and how they okay. stayed in Taylor Town. They could have moved and went somewhere else, but they all stayed in Taylor Town. So we want to thank them for that. All right, thank you. Down the road here, and when I see her, she said, "Man, I'm getting ready to go. Leave me okay. alone. I got to go." So she's so always going, and I want to recognize, recognize her uh, because she was the the largest ticket seller. She sold the most tickets. Amen. She was out there working hard. She does it every year, though. She does it every year, and uh, she sold 38. I mean, 40, 42, 34. Yeah, 34 tickets. She sold almost all everybody that's in here. Except for a few. So we want to present you with this award. For all your hard work, you can sit that at the house. I mean, you can take the battery out of it if you want to. But, you know, yeah, watching the time go by. Yeah, the, the grass cut. He's also he keeps the road size picked up. We ride through there, you know, Holly see the paper, nothing. Mabel I mean, some places you go, it'd be littered up with paper. We want to thank Kevin because he does a hard, I mean, he has a hard job to do. And uh, he sticks with it all the time in the hot sun and all that. But we want to present them. They help with the Taylor Town Day uh, celebration this year. And we want to reward you with some gifts. <laughs> Let's give a round of applause. Yeah. People that donated door prizes. They are Builder's First Choice, Chick-fil-A, Hickory Tavern, Blue Dino's, Lowe's Hardware, Maria's Mexican Restaurant, Olive Garden, Thigh Fusion, and The Marketplace. And we'd also like to just acknowledge um, the people that gave donations, which was Lowe's Food, Harris Teeter, and Coca-Cola. And that's for um, our event for tomorrow. And we would like to ask if you would come out and join us tomorrow for the parade. It starts at 11. Amen. You come to Main Street. I just wanted to put that little plug in. I just wanted to put a little plug in for the Taylortown Parade tomorrow. All right, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the fashion show. young lady is a first lady, Maria Lee, representing the Southern Pines, North Carolina area. After five is the way to go, I hope. <laughs> Let me back it up. Well, no, she's out shopping. She's got on a black skirt, the black shirt, and the lattice sheer white. Isn't she lovely? The lovely wedge shoes, black and brown. That girl is ready. That lady representing first lady. Maria Lee. She's always the one that's coordinating other. Oh, yeah, she gives a kiss. She's always coordinating others with talent, uh, the fashion shows and whatnot. Everybody's looking good this evening. Our next model.
Jackson, her beige shoes. You can't tell her nothing. She knows how to turn. Work it, Josephine. You go, sweetie. She's ready for a lovely evening out for dinner. A hand. We're going to come back with some more of their fashions right now. We're going to have some door prizes. Just, uh... Let's share this stuff out. I think Amen. that's a wonderful thing Amen. that he does. So let's give him a hand too. Amen. Hand clap for Pear Bear. Amen. Yeah, I got I'm holding on to it. There you go, sweet. Holding on to it. No, 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 no. Sister Carmen, she's coordinating things there in the back. Thank you, Sister Kane. Our next model this evening. <laughs> Maria Lee. First Lady Maria Lee once again. Ooh, in her after five. After five. Oh, that's beautiful. Black and white dress from SNL or S. L fashion accessorized with her beautiful pearls. Honey, you can't go wrong with the pearls. And accented with the black shoes, your pumps, those heels, I don't know how you walk in them, they're lovely. You gotta know how to walk. Gotta know how to walk. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, yes. <laughs> gotta take that dip. Dip it again and twirl it around. Know how to move the hips. <laughs> but you're ready for dinner and nice for Pastor Ren Lee to take out his beautiful wife. She needs that date night out. Give her a hand, folks. Beautiful lady. Inside and out. Alberta Johnson's granddaughter from New York. She is ready for the night with a silk beaded Tahari dress, feathers, and pearl shoes. You gotta have the bag that's accessorized to go with the outfit. She is certainly ready, even as a career lady for work and can go straight to a nice dinner right after work. God is good. You go, Lakeisha. Shake it, but don't break it. I heard somebody say, shake it, shake it. <laughs> She's so nice and tiny, tiny lady. To God be the glory. You guys enjoying yourselves? I'm gonna swing that camera around and get everybody. Ready, ready, ready. I don't know, some of you guys look like you could come up and model as well. A lot of the people in the audience, you see, worthy of being a model as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, sir. Ready? So we're going to go to a few more door prizes and we're waiting for the last model to change her outfit. Okay, so folks, this is the finale. We're going to have two models to come out at the same time. Yes. I've been, is it on? Come on. All right, there we go. So we're going to have two models coming out at the same time, beginning, of course, Maria Lee and Lakeisha. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, sweetie. Maria, of course, has on her.
for an evening wear, gray turquoise gown, rhinestone on the bodice of long flowing dress and her shoes, black and shimmery. Mr. Thompson and Mr. Ratliff and Mr. Taylor and in his absence, Mr. Moody and thank the employees of Taylor Town. We thank everybody. We we getting ready to go. We getting ready to change a little bit more now. We're going to go into the dancing part. So I hope you got your shoes on. If you want to take them off, take them off. So we're going to we're going to go into the dance portion of the program. Amen. All right. So just mingle and have fun and enjoy. Yes, and I also would like to thank the people that participated in the program. Uh, Mama Dot, the comedian, she had to do her skit early because she lived far off. And also. Good evening, everybody. My name is Gwen Carter. I am a recent uh, uh, resident of Taylor Town. I've been here almost three years. Uh, we, my uh, cohabitant and I, uh, Aaron McLaughlin, live in the what I understand is formerly the um, ice cream parlor. And um, I know that has a lot of significance probably for a lot of people. Um, I wish I had known it back then. But I just wanted to say how much I so enjoy being a part of this community. I love it. Anybody ask, I'm originally from D.C. And my friends say, are you coming back here? I said, no. And I wouldn't trade living in Taylortown for anything. I love it. I think it's a beautiful community. I wish we were more cohesive, which we should be, but you know, as the world changes, so does everything else. But I just wanted everybody to know how much I really enjoy this community. Thank you so much.
Yagarta. Hi, sweetie. And Mrs. Rita Maynard driving the Yagarta cart. And Ms. Walden, town clerk. We got everybody here today. That's actually a photographer in front of me. Police. here today. Okay, I think this is it. This is a wrap. We got some other folks kind of trailing behind. I believe that's it. Thanks, Sandra. I got here some more here. Thank you. I'm going to do something special. You child are doing it. You know how I love this. All right. Ah, oh, this is beautiful, man. Hi, that's me. Hi, how are you? Children are growing up were part of the Galilee Missionary Baptist back in the day. Get a little view of all the people here today on the hill. Folks, the old uh, Taylor houses here in the background. Folks here. Brother Harry Barrett and Mr. Walden. Maybe Walden's husband there. Of course, uh, part of the Morrison family. You can see you can tell. Amen. <laughs> Sister Thompson, Alice Caldwell Thompson, Dot Cole, Governor Dot Cole, and uh, Joanne. Oh, amen. God is good. Everybody that's anybody is out here today enjoying themselves. God is good. For good cause. For good cause. Rose, what's her name? Samara. Oh, just a minute. Let me. Okay. And.
Remember, let's pray for one another. 